Nazi Germany. This is Kochblum, and it's a set of three silicone sponges with a scraper attached. You're never going to buy a sponge again once you have these at home. And we're super excited about this. This in German means cook flour. I'm not sure what that means to you, but it <laughs> means a lot to the German people. This is going to mean a lot to you if you are cleaning up. And Chef Jeremy Parker is here. Good to have you back, sir. Thanks. Great nice to, to see you. This is a remarkable item. This really is. And it is the best. We are back with another QVC breakdown this time of the product. Uh, this is Everything Intellectual Property. I am your host, uh, Dave. And man, since Shark Tank, typically I would do those breakdown episodes. That season has ended. So until the next season comes back in, I'm going to try to give you a little bit of more HSN QVC breakdowns of the different products. Um, now, this is interesting. This is coming out of Germany, and I think this is a good illustration of why everybody should look to try to create something to be able to sell it. And to the extent that it's patentable, get a patent on it to protect it. And again, you can make a lot of money. A lot of companies, especially overseas, whether it's Germany, whether it's uh, UK, uh, what other companies are overseas uh, or uh, countries are overseas, whether it's China, India, uh, Italy, a lot of companies want to do business in the u.s i was interviewing a gentleman who had a company in uh was it norway it was in Norway. it was denmark and he's like hey man our u.s market is our biggest market accounting for 40 percent of the company sales they sell they sell training mass essentially so every company particularly overseas wants to sell here in the u.s and you can see the german company is doing the same thing they're literally on qvc uh, shopping their product around talking about their product trying to sell it and it seems like they've been selling a ton of these things so it's like hey why not our own people in the u.s kind of start a company and you know get a product that is different that performs well we hear about the details of this product but it looks interesting uh just from kind of what they initially showed of it i'm not sure if it's panable but it definitely has some qualities that makes it panable now i'm not sure if something is out there already to the extent that if something is out there already with regard to this kind of silicone sponge with uh you know a scrubber then it's not panable per se but you can still sell it and that actually is a good for everybody because you they can sell it you can sell it i can sell it to the extent that something is not panable or you can't get patent protection on it that's not necessarily a bad thing for the consumer i mean not only for the consumer but for the business owner but that just means that it's a, essentially a free market. Everybody can sell it. So you know, just keep that in your mind as you're uh, kind of watching these videos. But to the extent that it's protected, you can get a protected on it, uh, patent protection on it because it's different than what's out there in the market. Definitely do that. And that way you can keep others from making it, using it or selling it. Heck, you can even license it to uh, other big companies or other companies for them to be able to sell and make and make money off of it. And you collect a royalty payment. So let's get back to the video. Let's see what this guy says. And uh Kind of stop to get my thoughts on it as we go. Best way if you're scraping food off your plate or your pans yeah. is that it doesn't gunk up. It's made of silicone. They will last year after year. When you say it doesn't gunk up, it means it won't stink. Okay, take a look. That's right. <laughs> it won't stink. Let's be honest. How many of us have sponges like this? They recommend you change your sponge every one to two weeks. I don't know if you've ever cleaned a pan and smelled something and it was your hand. Like, why does that smell? The sponge is all mildewed and mm -hmm. it's gross. Well, and it's food particles and uh, particles in there that. Have hey man, I like this. I, I I think that's uh. You guys have to let me know in the chat or not in the chat. This is not a live stream. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. But I mean, I think he, he's probably right because when you look at those typical sponges and I have a sponge, it seems like a lot of people are going away from the sponge in terms of more uh, like brushing and scraper action. When you have a sponge and that was used for a long time, uh, I'm talking about many many years and decades. You kind of really sit back and think about it, and after a couple uses, because man, these things get smelly, they get old, they you know they're they're absorbing germs and things like that. And hey, a week or two weeks later, it's like okay, let's get a new sponge as opposed to using this thing for you know months and kind of having to kind of deal with maybe okay, you're cleaning the dishes, but are you really cleaning the dishes? And I think this product was a good way to combat that. They're talk, they'll talk about it here, but it seems like it's made of a, more of a silicone as opposed to this uh, kind of sponge sponge material that more so absorbs the dirt and things like that as opposed to this silicone that, hey, it's going to kind of rinse off the dirt. It's going to scrub and get things clean, but it's also going to rinse it off and not going to retain or absorb any dirt 
or things like that. Plus, again, he talked about a big thing, not smelling. And I think that's a big thing because we know sponges over time, they start to sting, especially as you, again, just use them more and more often. And I think this uh, this product not stinking is it, it's, it's interesting. It makes it interesting. Let's get back and uh, kind of see uh, this guy's uh, or the description of it. Turn to bacteria. That's right. So when you scrape, now I have a dishwasher, but I still scrape food off. So yep. when you use this, you can scrape it off the plate. Whether that's melted on cheese, whether you're scraping your pan, whether that's sauce, whether it's a cream sauce, mustard, barbecue sauce. Here's the best part is that you rinse this and it completely rinses clean. So that is sterile. It is sanitary. And you use it again and again and again. And brand new today, you're getting three of these sponges. Now you choose the color that you're most in love with. Do you want dark gray? Do you want the red? Or do you want the navy? I just want the sponges. I don't care what color they are because they work like a charm. These are $23 for the set of three, three equal payments, and this pan is hot. Oh, yeah. We're going to show you. Actually, you know what? Let's do that right now. Because, okay, sure. Okay. So the difference here is that these are silicone. These are made out of polyurethane, which is basically plastic. So if I just put both of these into a pan, I want to show you the difference here is that one gets hot, one will melt, one will not. These are heat safe to 400 degrees. Right. On the back, you have scrapers here. So if you're scraping a pan that has something burnt on, I'm going to do that in a second. It'll scrape it off here, but nothing will burn on here. And I'll tell you what, if I just pull this off, I mean, you can see the difference oh. here. And you can see the difference here. <laughs> now, oh, this is a little bit hot there, but that's okay. But it's not melting. It's not melting. And that's yeah. why silicone. That, it, that dark color is melted sponge. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's gross. And so, again, this will stay. It's like thousands of little fingers cleaning. So when you clean something like this, let me just pull it this way so you can kind of see what it's doing. All those little fingers scrape every little bit off of there. So if you're doing glasses, if you're doing your plates, Maybe it's cookware. glassware and there's lip balm mm -hmm. and lipstick on there. I have entertained before and gone to clean wine glasses after everybody left. And I was like, what are these lip prints? Yeah. And I'm like, it's lip balm and, and lipstick. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Maybe you've got melted cheese in the bottom of the pan. If you've got grilled cheese, you've got, you've got stuck on, burned on cheese, right? That's right. And even stuff that's stuck here, this might be kind of really stuck on there. Even your nonstick pans sometimes stick. So you can flip it over. Use that backside, and it's safe to use to scrape off anything left in your pan. Will it damage the pan? And it will not. See, and again, when we're talking about pan protection, those details are important. Not only do you have kind of the scraper side, which is, seems to be the main side with all those bristles and things like that, that you can clean pots and pans and dishes and even wine glasses, but you also seem like have that backside that also have has a cleaning function, a utility function, and the different structure of it. Seems like it, you know, you can grip your hand on it, but it seems like it has some uh, a pattern or some type of pad and things like that for you to clean up, you know, different types of uh, of dirt or oh, yeah, dirt on dishes or pans and things like that. So we're talking about patents. All that stuff matters. Again, you you were thinking it, it's when I when I typically do these Shark Tank breakdowns, you will look at something. You're like, man, how did they get a pattern on that? It seems so straightforward and simple. Okay, the sponge, obviously, the sponge. That's that's not nothing new or no, it's not rocket science. But with this pad, you also, again, it's made out of silicone, number one. And then, uh, so it's not stinking, it's not absorbing dirt and germs and smells and things like that, odors. But then it also has this other side that it also has a cleaning function. It has some structure to it that, again, when you're talking to your patent attorney, you need to describe all that information to them so that it's going to be more likely than not that you will be able to at least file some type of patent application. But to the extent, like I said earlier, that it's, it's already out there, you can still sell it because that means you're not infringing someone because you're not, you know, nobody has a patent on it. Uh, you know, definitely make sure you uh, make sure of that before you do it. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is, this is a good one. This is a good one. Let's go back and uh, kind of finish off what they have to talk about. Uh, Damage the pan. That's why it's, it's not abrasive. But it's tough enough to scrape and get underneath it. And then, if you want to sanitize that pan and it's dishwasher safe, pop it right in the dishwasher. That's right. This is quick, it's easy, and best of all, it's affordable. Brand new today, $23. A lot of you are saying, hey, where are the brand new items on QVC? Well, you're looking at one. I know we're five minutes from midnight, <laughs> but this is the brand new item, and you're wondering, can it take? Can my regular soap? dish soap absolutely see there it will suds up like a regular sponge too so if you are hand washing your dishes again i can use soap here 
And you're going to get three of these. So I'm going to show you in a second. If you have a pet, use it dry to get pet hair off of your furniture. Oh, wow. I did my rain boots. That's I've crazy. got some rain boots I really like them. They're nice. And I scrubbed the mud off of them this morning with this. Scrubbed it and just hosed it off. It was like brand new. I mean, everybody is dealing with this yucky weather. And even though we are on the cusp of summertime, we're still dealing with some cooler temperatures and lots of bad weather around the country. So this is going to be your opportunity to make sure that everything right down to your shoes are nice and clean. That's right. Now let's talk about using it dry. Okay, so for dry, it is silicone. So what it does, it creates static electricity. So maybe you have a place where your cat or your dog likes to sleep. I could use this and what's gonna happen is it's going to take all that dog See, see this, that is, cat this is good information. So not only can you differentiate it over uh, just regular sponges, because obviously, obviously we know that sponges are only used for cleaning dishes and things like that. But again, it also has a function of what they call it, dry product. So if you have a pillow or he says something about different furniture, you know, a sofa or whatever the case may be that is not wet, that you're not necessarily applying dish hope to it and scrubbing and cleaning from that standpoint, it seems like you can still get pet hairs and things like that off. It's easy, cleanable. So all that stuff becomes important when you're filing a patent or trying to protect the invention. The more details, the better. The more you get a chance to kind of add not only those uh, benefits in there, the advantages of the product compared to the prior art, but also the more you add a different structure that it gives it those benefits and advantages over the prior art, the, the, the more likely or the better chance you put yourself in at least getting something protected. Now, again, as I want to continue to say, I'm not sure if this is protectable, uh, but to the extent that it's not, that should have your wheels think like, OK, if, even if it's not protectable, that means it's kind of more so. It can be a free market as far as I can sell something like this, go to a manufacturer, look to manufacture a product and sell it and not have to worry about an infringement. I know a lot of people do. I forget what it's called on like Amazon with the store with kind of kind of selling different e-commerce products. That's something that I guess should be said. But to the extent that it's not done, I, I would always advise you to at least go to an attorney, see if you can protect something, at least get a patentability search or you do a patentability search to see if it's protectable before uh you just saying, OK, whatever, I'm just selling because if it's protectable, that's even better because it gives you an added layer of protection where you can keep others from making it, using it or selling it. So this would be interesting. I'm not sure if they're talking if they will talk about patent protection. I know Shark Tank, they normally bring it up because you're talking about investments. They're just necessarily they're just trying to sell it. So I'm not sure if they will talk about whether or not it's patent protected. Uh, I was I wasn't able to find anything on it just on my brief uh, skim or search. But again, this could very well be especially if you're talking about hey, a German company, they're selling, trying to sell a product. Typically they will have their product protected so that it's not just a free market or open market for everybody to do it. Uh, but let me know in the comment section, do you guys, have you guys used this product and how does it compare to typical sponges? Is it better than typical sponges? Is it too, too good to be true just based off of what the gentleman is saying in a video? I, I would like to hear your guys' comments in the comment section to the extent that you will have one. And if you don't, would you prefer this over, based on this explanation so far, would you prefer this over the traditional sponge or the tr tr traditional cleaning devices? That's something that uh, will be interesting. Let's uh, hear a little bit more before we wrap this video up. And I've got a lot on here to show for a bad example. You can rinse this off when you're done. And yeah, if your pillows are this hairy and dirty, then we have need to have a separate conversation. Yeah, sure. yeah. But this is over-exaggerated to show, to prove a point, that this is the tool you'll reach for. That's right. And then you just take it over here to the sink, rinse that off, and you'll rinse all that hair off. So you get three of these. So I would use one in the mud room, maybe one around the house. In your kitchen or in your bathroom, if you want to scrub the grout around the sides. Or the toothpaste spatter or yeah. the hand cream or the uh, the body wash. Or maybe you have caulking in there. So if you use a sponge like this, you can a lot of times pull that up. You'll grind it up. You'll oh, take yeah. that caulking off where this is soft enough that you can scrub it. Get rid of any of that mildew in there. And then again, you can sanitize it. You can use any chemicals on this if you wanted to. It's totally safe. Nice. Don't miss out on this opportunity. It's a set of three and you choose the color. We have them right here. Now it's a set of three in the dark gray. We have a set of three in the red or a set of three in the navy. You choose a color. What's my famous quote? Because it makes you smile. It makes they all smile. do exactly the same job. Exactly. They all have those scrapers on the reverse side. These are safe for your fine china, your stoneware, nice. your nonstick pans, whatever the surface this is going to be ideal for.
That's right. And how many times do we have baking pans? Things like this. Now, I did a non. Uh, uh, this is. And I think we get the uh, we get the point of it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start trying to do more of these until the, the Shark Tank breakdown or the Shark Tank episodes come back or the new season come back. I think especially with these products, it's good to be able to kind of point out on QV, QVC, HSN. I guess the different details of the product as they talk about. And I can let you guys know from my perspective, being almost 10 year intellectual property attorney, uh, to let you know how some of these details, some of the structure of the brushes and the products, or the brushes in this case, uh, can potentially allow you to patent it. And as a result of protecting it via a patent, now you're kind of really in, in a ball game because you can stop others from making it, using it, or selling it, and you know, have this kind of 20 year monopoly on. Kind of selling a product so let me know what you guys think of it would you guys use this product uh to the extent that you have used it let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section uh and until next time you guys have a good one take care